hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to tell you how you can make a call to real-time voice api which is an offering from openai so this particular thing you can do in many ways like there are a lot many implementation lot many demos available using the javascript but if you are a python developer you may be interested more in a purely a python implementation so that's the reason i am here with this video so right now there are very limited set of uh, client libraries or i would say wrappers available which incorporate this real time voice api but i came across this implementation from llama index so they have recently created a wrapper around real time voice api which you can uh, very easily incorporate in your python application so whatever the code i'm doing here you can have a look at the llama index github repository and you will find that code over there so i'm not doing anything fancy here and before i get started with the point you to my earlier video in which i spoke about real-time voice api what is it and what are the key things we can do so if you have not watched that video already then just check out the description box and you will find the link over there so let me quickly quickly jump on to the demo part so i have written few lines of code but before jumping on to the code let's have a look what actually i'm trying to show you today so i'm going to execute this application from my terminal so i have launched my application and i'm going to ask a question to this particular api what is the capital of united states and the capital of the United States is Washington DC. So here you can see how nicely it came up with a response. Let me ask another question here. Could you open a YouTube for me? I've opened YouTube for you in the browser. Enjoy. So here you can see it is still loading. Let me minimize my screen. Oh, yeah. So here you can see it has opened this YouTube for me. Now let me ask one more question in which we will ask it to open the notepad for us. So let's try that out. Could you open a notepad for me? And it will go ahead and here I've you can- open opened a notepad for you. You can start jotting down your notes. So this is what I'm going to show you today. So if you want, you can also give the command to write something in here and what not so let's have a quick look at the few lines of code which i have written using llama index wrapper okay so here i have imported a few packages you can see here and this is the implementation which is like real-time client from llama index so you just need to import these two things and then i'm having a function tool because i want to implement various features like opening the new opening the youtube and then opening the notepad all these things so all these things are implemented using the function so this is my function and here it, i'm saying open this youtube then i'm having another function which is open notepad and here i'm saying just open this notepad so if you want to write some text so either you can pass it from here so here is the variable that's the reason i have defined so you can write whatever you are writing here it will go ahead and type it in this particular uh, notepad so that also you can do it here so once i have defined my functions or you can see the tool then i'm just setting up uh, collection so this collection is called tools and this is the collection which I'm going to inject while constructing my client and then this is the main function here I'm having audio handler or and the input handler so audio handler is for my voice what I'm speaking and the input handler is required because I'm giving keyboard inputs when to record and when to terminate this application so that's the reason I'm having these two here here you can say the client is taking these key parameters the first one is our api key then we are having them text uh, appended with an assistant we have the audio and then we are supplying the tools which we just created above here we are starting our listener and then we are connecting the client so here if you will see i have not provided any url or any api endpoint because everything is wrapped inside this particular real-time client okay now here like i said i was using the keyboard 
So this is the implementation. You can find it uh, very easily on the GitHub repo as well. But the idea why I'm talking about this is so that you will understand that you need not to implement everything by your own. There are libraries, libraries which can help you build up your system. So although this is an initial, very initial state, so we can definitely expect a lot more changes here. And let's quickly come back to this. So what I'm saying here is uh, we are starting the recording and then we are saying, get me all the audio data in this. So if you have your audio data, it will just grab it here and pass it on to the API. It will start processing and we will have our response back. So I hope you got an idea of what we can do it with this initial sample. And perhaps I will plan for another video in which I will tell you all the events which are coming into the picture and that particular video will be with respect to Azure OpenAI. So till then, stay tuned and keep watching.